CA Hoops Weekly presented by Under Armour here in a snowy Philadelphia here inside the DAC. I'm Bobby Broyles along with Christine Mata. Christine, thank you for joining us today Thanks. for the show. She called one of the games this afternoon as we had two winners advance from the first round of the CA tournament. And as we look at these two get games, Christine, the first game, UNCW came out with a very impressive performance, especially defensively as they knocked off Towson. Yeah, they pretty much led from the beginning to the end, uh, most importantly led by Jenny DeGraff with her 15 points. But Lacey Suggs, when there was a little bit of downtime and Towson started making a run, I thought Lacey Suggs really stepped up for UNCW. And what a great win for them, you know, to, to go into day two. And for Towson, you know, I thought Mary Cuevas really tried to keep them into the game. 14 yep. points, 14 rebounds. And sad to see, see the senior go out on that note. But they gave it everything they had. But just too much Seahawks today. And UNCW will advance to take on the top seed Drexel Dragons tomorrow. We'll break that down, that game down here in a few. But the second game, which you got to call, College of Charleston came out here and Gosh, you would think they've been playing in this gym all year long the way they shot today as they were able to put up 80-plus points against Hofstra and move on with the victory. Yeah, unbelievable. For a team that averages 57 points per game yeah. to put up you know, numbers in the 80s, it was just an offensive display. Darian Huff leading the way with a career-high 22 points. But I thought Tanisha Brown and Deja Ford also, just that trio, they yeah. really stepped up at different times, a workmanlike approach. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they had this great offensive output, but really their defense was phenomenal. I thought they mm -hmm. got hands in passing lanes, did a good job on closing out in the perimeter and then I thought they also did a good job of jumping and playing on the catch on yep. defense and a lot of that turned into offense for College of Charleston and what an offensive performance. It was pretty awesome to watch. Well this sets up the stage for a quarterfinals on Thursday. It will be a busy Thursday beginning at noon here on CA.TV. We'll get our first look at the Drexel Dragons at top seed as they take on UNCW and you know UNCW coming in with a little momentum. We'll see how they do against Drexel here tomorrow. Yeah every team trying to extend their season one more game yep. but you know what a host Drexel has been thus far the excitement around the CA women's basketball tournament here mm -hmm. at the DAC and and what a season for the Dragons Denise Dillon doing another great job but they're doing it a little bit differently this yep. year than they've done in other years it's not just perimeter shooting they're continuing to move without the basketball but they're getting a little bit more physical inside and they're a more complete team and, and what a job they've done and coming in as the one seed mm -hmm. you know UNCW had to put a lot of energy out today and you just yep. wonder do they have enough to really challenge the number one seed tomorrow following that contest at 2.30. It will be Northeastern and Delaware, that 4-5 game that always usually sets up to be a pretty good matchup on the quarterfinals. Yeah, really interesting game. You have the CAA Player of the Year, Nicole Anabosi, going yep. against another first-teamer in Jess Janko. Very interesting matchup for the Hens. They lost twice to Northeastern. Mm -hmm. Second time they played up in Boston, they, they hung with them. They yep. actually came out really strong, but Northeastern just was able to overtake them at the end. And Delaware had a really hard time on closeouts, on mm -hmm. getting out on those shooters and then when they did start to get out on those shooters they were putting the ball on the bounce and getting to the rim so they say the cliche it's always hard to beat a team three times yes. and that's what Delaware is hoping for but Northeastern has been really rock solid thus far this season. Our third game in our quarterfinals will feature the number two seed, the Jamie Dukes. They will take on College of Charleston. Like we said, impressive performance offensively by the Cougars today. And the Jamie Dukes, they sometimes struggle in this quarterfinals in the past, so it, should, it could be set up to be an interesting matchup. Yeah, College of Charleston is hoping that that offensive output they put out today is not all put out today. They're yeah. hoping to have some shots left for tomorrow. But JMU not beating teams by as large of a margin as they have in the past. They're the number two seed, but they did tie for yes. the regular season. But they are also doing it in a different way. But mm -hmm. it's also prepared them for this quarterfinal matchup because they've had a lot more closer games. They've had games where they've had to come back. Yep. So in a way, they've been more tested this season going into the CAA championships than in years past. And then the nightcap, it will be the three seed, the Elon Phoenix, our first look at the defense. CA Conference champions as they take on the William & Mary Tribe. Yeah, Elon was off to a little bit of a slow start early in the season, but mm -hmm. boy, are they playing yep. great. They may be the hottest team in the league right now, yep. and they have championship you know, members from last year, so they know how to win a championship. And when you look at Elon, JMU, and Drexel, they've all split this season. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really interesting going into the, the quarterfinals to see what Elon can do, if they can keep that momentum going. And William and & Mary, you know, they've, they were kind of up and down this season, but an opportunity tomorrow to maybe shock the CAA. All four games of the quarterfinals can be seen on CA.TV. You'll even see Christine calling a few, so make sure to tune in. From the DAC, we'll be here to recap all the quarterfinals tomorrow and get you ready for the semifinals.